Walton Hall Golf Course is one of the finest municipal courses in the North West region. It offers a superb parkland course that meanders through the mature trees of the Walton Hall Estate, climbing to provide extensive views across the Cheshire countryside and Warrington. Whilst presenting a challenging course, wide fairways and large greens allow all abilities to enjoy the surroundings, with the long open hole par 5s and dogleg par 4s offering enjoyable tests for big hitters. The course is par 72 at just over 6,638 yards off the white tees. The first hole is straight but narrowed by trees on both sides for almost its entire length. The right hand side is liable to becoming boggy after rain. A large birch standing behind the hole acts as a good aiming point if the flag is not clearly visible. The long elongated green exhibits a challenging left to right slope and is guarded by one well disguised bunker to the front right. The Bridgewater Canal lies just outside the estate boundary. Slightly downhill second is a short par 5 at 467 yards, offering a good chance for a birdie. Again the hole is straight but constricted, with a line of younger trees down the left, and mature trees and a drainage ditch running to the right. The large oak tree particularly encroaches on the right of the fairway, 215 yards from the white tees, and can block second shots if not cleared on the drive. The curved elongated green is protected by bunkers centre left and back right. The third hole presents the first dogleg of the course, offering longer drivers the chance of carrying the younger trees to the left or else laying up for position, still only leaving a relatively short second shot. Either way, a slightly drawn tee shot is advantageous to present the best approach line. Care must be taken to avoid the large tree that sits menacingly in the middle of the fairway, 115 yards from the white tees. Should your ball be unfortunate enough to encounter this tree, the distance to the flag is 225 yards. The green sits up from front to back, with mature trees in on the right, and lateral bunkers to mid left and right. Anything missing left will leave a testing up and down. The slightly downhill fourth hole is the first of Walton's par threes. It is also the shortest and easiest at 174 yards. Avoiding straying left off the tee is vital as a tree lies at the front of the green, partially obscuring it, with a deep bunker immediately beyond this. Any shot right will generally feed downwards towards the green, making this the sensible side to stick to. Fifth is a picturesque but testing par 4 that kinks to the right. There is a fairway bunker to the left at 245 yards from the white tees. A large pond surrounded by trees lurks to the right at 175 yards from the back pegs. The large green is attractively landscaped with bunkers to the front right and left. The sixth is a risk-reward dogleg rated as the second hardest hole on the course. Long hitters can cut the corner by driving to the right of or over the cluster of tall trees at 105 yards from the back tees, or else hitting a faded tee shot close into their left edge. A more cautious approach is to aim for the fairway marker post, leaving a longer second shot from an attractive downhill approach. Green is protected by two lateral bunkers, to the mid left and right, with a drop off and thicket close in behind. The seventh is an enjoyable par three at 199 yards off the back tees, which depending on the wind direction can play a mid to long iron or hybrid. The large elongated green is narrowed by lateral bunkers on both sides, broadening to the back and can be set with a variety of pin positions. The eighth hole lies across Hoffs Lane, a good par five at 471 yards from the back tees. From a slightly raised teeing area, a right hand side fairway bunker lies at 230 yards from the white pegs. Anything too far left on the drive will find the out-of-bounds ditch. 
A large pond lies 90 yards beyond the fairway bunker, also to the right. From its back bank there are 145 yards to go to the green. A bunker guards the mid-left of the large, slightly uphill green, with a bank to its rear. The ninth is another par 5 at 489 yards off the white tees, with a stroke index of 6. The drive here requires particular attention, as an oak tree stands to the immediate left of the tees, partially obscuring the driving line, requiring a drawn tee shot over its right edge. Distance control on the drive is imperative as long hitters may be liable to finding the ditch transecting the fairway to the left from upwards of 240 yards from the white tees. The green is long and elevated with an uphill slope. A lateral bunker lies to the left and there is a sharp drop off to right and back. The 10th is rated as the hardest hole from the white and yellow tees and it is one of the best par fours on the course. Although comparatively straight, two large bunkers constrict the mid fairway. A pair of bunkers stand on either side of the middle of the uphill sloping green. At 214 yards off the elevated back tees, the 11th is Walton Hall's longest par 3, with a challenging tee shot between trees to an attractive, plateaued green, protected by a large bunker to the front left. The ground falls away to the right with a stream and boggy area in a hollow, which can make for a difficult up and down if you stray into it. Par 5 12th is the longest hole at 506 yards off the white tees, uphill all the way, with a wide and undulating fairway. Although the hole curves left, the right hand side is preferable because of the steep slope on the fairway. A fairway bunker to the right presents a hazard on the drive, lying 240 yards from the back tees. Plateau green is built up from the hill slope, making the approach somewhat challenging. A large bunker sits front right and the ground drops off sharply at the back and to the left. The impressive elevated 13th tee offers fine views northwest towards Lower Walton and Warrington, with the fairway sweeping downhill to the left. A well-concealed fairway bunker at 215 yards from the white tees can collect drives at one to two far left. The steeply downhill approach is to another plateau green, built up from the hill slope, with a pair of bunkers front left and right, and a steep drop off to the back. The slightly raised 14th tee involves driving across a pond that lies close in. Although the hole curves markedly to the right, the left hand side of the fairway is most favourable on account of the steep incline. Accuracy and length on the second shot are imperative as the ground falls away to a boggy hollow below the green, meaning that anything short or right will leave a difficult and semi-blind up and down. The picturesque plateaued green is guarded by a bunker front left. The 339 yard 15th is considered to be Walton's easiest par 4, although the view from the tee is tunnelled by trees, before widening dramatically to the right after about 75 yards, favouring a slightly faded drive. The green is guarded by sand front right and mid left. The 16th is another long par 3 from elevated tees with 223 yards off the white pegs, demanding a well struck long iron, hybrid or even a wood. The huge oval green is relatively unguarded, although a stream will collect anything that strays right, and the ground can become boggy short of the green. Lying back across Hoffs Lane, the 17th tee is testing, tunnelled between trees on both sides with a marker post providing an aiming point. Off the back tee, reaching the marker post and apex of the dog leg is challenging. Beyond this, the hole sweeps uphill to the right to a back to front sloping green. 
two small trees almost block the approach to the green and a well disguised bunker comes into play front left with another mid right. The 18th presents another dog leg, although this time downhill. Long hitters will be able to carry the trees on the right to cut the corner, with ideally a faded drive to leave a short iron approach. Out of bounds beckons to the right for any wayward drives. A layup requires a longer iron second shot, albeit from the wide downhill fairway. The approach enjoys views towards the clubhouse, which is part of the large range of former coach houses and outbuildings of Walton Hall. The green mouth is wide, with bunkers guarding the front and mid-right and back left. 